We know that large storms about 24 hours after power outages will see uh, a, a real spike in the number of carbon monoxide poisonings. In our last huge storm of over a million uh, customers without power, we treated about 125 patients. The reason being is when the power goes out, people look for alternative ways to heat their house. They may turn on uh, a portable generator and it doesn't vent well because it's in an attached garage or underneath a porch. And that's really one of the problems is a lot of people don't recognize that they're being poisoned because the symptoms may include just fatigue, headache, nausea, feeling like you have the flu. Most physicians, especially in the Northwest, are familiar with carbon monoxide poisoning because unfortunately it's something we've had to deal with over the years. The way the hyperbaric chamber works is it provides high concentrations of oxygen. We have patients come in, they breathe 100% oxygen at pressure. They're pressurized um, in the chamber so we can then deliver um, uh, levels of oxygen a thousand times higher than one would get at sea level. The best way to avoid or prevent carbon monoxide poisoning is to not be exposed to those areas of combustion in closed areas. But number one, get a carbon monoxide detector and make sure it's got its batteries in place because when the power goes out, the carbon monoxide monitor needs to be ready to go.